Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog, and in today's video of QuickBooks Training, I'm going to talk to you about how to customize an invoice in QuickBooks Desktop. So I've opened up a sample file of QuickBooks Desktop, sample Rock Castle Construction. On the top ribbon, I'm going to click on the word Lists, and then I'm going to go down to Templates on the bottom. The first invoice I want to show you is the Rock Castle invoice, just so you can see what we're starting with for a default invoice. So I'm finding Rock Castle invoice in the list, and I'm just going to double click on it to open it. I can see my Rock Castle invoice on the right hand side. I'm going to click on Print Preview so it's easier to see. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty plain invoice. There are things that we can do to kind of spruce it up and make it look a little bit more interesting and make it look less like every other invoice out there. So I'm gonna select close and start fiddling with it. I can add a logo to my invoice. To do that, I'm gonna click on use logo on the left hand side. And then it gives me an opportunity to select my logo. I don't currently have a logo within this folder, so I'm just gonna to navigate to where my logo is located, in this case on my desktop. So, sample logo. It says it's now saving that into the folder that originally opened for us, and I'm gonna say okay. So my sample logo is a smiley face, just because I wanted something fun. So I can change my color scheme. Right now it's black. Go ahead and make it green, because I like the color green. And then I can change my fonts if I want. I don't. I can update my information. Um, I don't really want to do that right now, but you certainly can. So when you do that, you can say, oh, my address is different. So we'll say it's, we'll just give it a Bellevue address. So now I can see that my text is green. I've given a different zip code. Um, let me do some other fun stuff. Let me change the layout. So right now, like there's a gap between my business name and my address. This information over here in the middle is kind of scooted, I don't know, in the, in the weird way to the middle. So when I click on Layout Designer, I'm able to move stuff around to make it make more sense. The first thing I see is these uh, kind of soft green boxes. The soft green boxes mean that that's where your paper would line up to a windowed envelope if you were printing and mailing these invoices. In most cases at this point, we're emailing invoices, so the soft green boxes don't matter as much. But definitely, if you're going to print these out and put them in windowed envelopes, you do want to pay attention to those soft green boxes. So what I want to do is I want to move stuff around. Like I want to move up my address so that it doesn't look quite so strange. I can also move this stuff around. So say, for example, I want it all to be lined up on the left hand side. I'm, I'm just pulling the boxes. I'm clicking and dragging them over. So I'm giving them spaces because they're independent boxes. You can pretty much do whatever you want with these. So I'm not going to modify this invoice to make it totally perfect. I'm just modifying it so you can see what you can do to modify things. So if I wanted to change the width of this box, I can. Uh, let me click on OK so that I can take you back to the text. I can click on the bottom for additional customization, which will give me a chance to change up some of the text. So in the upper right hand corner, it's called invoice. Um, maybe I'd like to call it invoice ticket. Uh, the date, the date's in caps lock. Maybe I find caps lock to be just a little bit um, too screamy for me. I can change it to lowercase. Um, I can change this to be ticket number. I've got build to and ship to. In my real business, I teach people how to use QuickBooks, so there is never a ship to. So I can uncheck the boxes for ship to because I just don't need it. Terms, um, that's just saying what, uh, what terms are you giving someone, what due date. So I'm, I'm asking you to pay within 30 days or within 15 days or pay immediately. So we'd leave that there. And then the due date, that's automatically calculated. We would leave that there. If I had a rep, um, like a, a contact person, um, I can check that box. When I check the box for a rep, it gave me a warning message saying this is laying over the top of something else. And I can see that's true. To fix it, I can click on Layout Designer. 
come into here and then I can scoot the boxes over. So you can line up your, your boxes to be however you want. You can organize them to be wherever you'd like them to be located. You can change the text, um, so new text. Uh, so I see project is on my screen, but maybe my situation doesn't call for project. I can just uncheck that and it takes it off of my screen. Now, of course, my boxes are messed up and I'd want to go back and change those again. But basically, this is just an example of how you can change the text and move the boxes around. You can click on columns and choose to reorder stuff. You can choose to take stuff off of here. So maybe you have it appear on your screen, but you don't have it appear on the invoice. Um, so maybe unit of measurement, I need it on my screen, but I don't need it on my invoice. Maybe quantity, I don't need it on my invoice. Uh, maybe amount, I don't. Maybe I want amount, but I don't want rate. Whatever makes sense for your business. On the bottom of my screen, I've got the footer. So I can include this information down here. So the total amount of the invoice, any payments that have been applied to the invoice, the balance due. If that doesn't apply to your business, you can always uncheck those things. So now you just have a subtotal, the amount of tax if applicable, and then the grand total. You can put a disclaimer. In this case, I'm just gonna type sample text. And now you see it appear at the bottom of your screen. It looks a little silly to have it hanging out on the bottom, what I would probably do is go into Layout Designer and drag all these boxes down so that this wasn't hanging out by itself. I can click Print Preview anytime I want to see how it might look for my client. I can see that it's green. I can see my boxes need to be fixed a little bit. You can spend hours customizing this and I definitely encourage you to. I just wanted to show you a couple of quick things so that you can create the invoice, kind of make it your own, and then tweak and adjust it as necessary. Thank you very much. If you have other videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks. Mm -hmm.